Welcome to Physics Trick. I'm Alan Jay, here with another worked solution to help you improve your physics and show you best practice in answering questions. So let's get started. This is really quite a simple question, asking for the distance travelled from a knowledge of the initial velocity, final velocity and the amount of deceleration. The thing to remember when doing problems involving deceleration, sometimes called retardation, is to think of the acceleration as negative. So in a question, whenever an, an A for acceleration is asked for, we put in a negative value. So let's move on. Here is our question. Question 3. An object travelling at 8 metres per second decelerates at 4 metres per second per second. How far does it travel before coming to rest? Answer the two decimal places. So, here are the equations of motion and their quantities in blue down the side for quick reference. And writing out the information given in the question in symbol form, we have u is equal to 8 metres per second a is equal to minus 4 meters per second per second. v, the final velocity, is 0 meters per second. s, the final velocity we have to find. And at our diagram, u, the initial velocity, is 8 meters per second. v, the final velocity, is 0 meters per second. A, the acceleration is a deceleration in the opposite direction, minus 4 meters per second per second, and we have to find the distance s. Only these two equations, the bottom two, have s in them. This one has t in it. Well, we don't have t, so we will choose the top one. v squared minus u squared equals 2as. So let's write out our equation. v squared minus u squared equals 2as. We need s to be the subject, so let's just turn this around. 2as is equal to v squared minus u squared. We divide both sides by 2a to leave the s on its own. 2a cancels on the left, so we have s is equal to v squared minus u squared divided by 2a, which equals 0 squared minus 8 squared divided by 2 times minus 4, which gives us 64, 8, 8, 64, divided by 8, minus 64 divided by minus 8, which gives us 8. Our distance travelled is therefore to two decimal places, 8.00 metres. And that's all for now. I hope this video has helped you out. Do look out for more work solutions on the topic equations of motion. More coming soon. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel and be the first to see all the latest releases.